Welcome to the 2020 Summer Graduation Ceremony for the School District of Palm Beach County. My name is Eric Stern and I'll be your MC for this special commencement. First and foremost, congratulations, you did it. Graduating from high school is an enormous milestone in one's life and worth celebrating. On behalf of your teachers, principal, and school staff, we want to commend you on attaining your high school diploma. In a few moments, you will hear from the school superintendent, Dr. Donald E. Fenoy II, and members of the Palm Beach County School Board. At this time, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance led by Jaden Manuel, who recently graduated from Royal Palm Beach High School and served as your student body representative on the school board. And remain standing for the singing of the national anthem. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and Hello, and congratulations to the high school class of 2020. You did it. Own it. Be proud of it. You are a graduate of the A-rated school district of Palm Beach County, and that says a lot about you. And while we're passing around virtual high fives, let's reach out to your family and friends who are joining us from your home, online, or on TV this evening as we mark this milestone in your amazing academic career. They played a very big role in your success, and we applaud them. Seniors, although we are physically separated this evening, make no mistake, we are united in our admiration for your success. Class of 2020, let's get real. How remarkable and ironic it is that you devoted the last 13 years of your life to education, while some of the most poignant and everlasting lessons you have learned occurred over the past two months, during the final stretch of your high school career. The district's theme heading into the new year was 2020 vision. Now that's ironic. 2020 vision? Nobody saw this reality coming. A pandemic named Corona, or translated crown, because of the way the virus appears under a microscope, changed life as we knew it. It may look like a crown, but let me tell you, it's been a royal pain. So let's reflect for a few minutes. For 13 years, you learned vocabulary. But again, some of the most memorable words or phrases you will never forget, you learned over the last two months. For starters, social distancing. As a society, we thrive on camaraderie, collaboration, and community. Think about that. The things you probably took for granted two months ago are now more important than ever to you. 
Being in a physical classroom on your campus with your teachers, classmates and friends, sitting side by side. The loving hug of a grandparent that is just too risky to share right now. Going to the beach or the mall, spending birthdays together. Well, here's a big one, celebrating your graduation. Distance learning. If someone had said to you that you would be spending the last two months of high school in a Google Classroom, full time from home, maybe even in your pajamas, you would have thought they were crazy. But that's exactly what you did. You and your teachers pivoted with remarkable dexterity and efficiency and just made it work. Essential workers. That includes our medical heroes and also the many other brave souls who didn't have the luxury of staying home. The people who we depend on day in and day out to stock our grocery store shelves, to deliver food and prescriptions, to serve the more than two million free meals that the school district of Palm Beach County has distributed to students since our schools closed on March 13th. Okay, in some cases, our heroes do wear capes. You, our esteemed graduates, are also essential. You are essential to your families, to your friends, and to the future of our country. You may feel isolated and frustrated right now, and that is understandable. But I also hope that you take great comfort in knowing that we are all in this together. Your lives will be forever influenced and many decisions shaped by this unprecedented global fight against coronavirus. These are not times to forget. Years from now, when you reflect, this just won't be a frightening time of inconvenience and uncertainty. You will view this as a challenge that you conquered. It's made you stronger, resilient. It's taught you the importance of fraternity, family, and friends. This collective disappointment that you and the entire global class of 2020 is experiencing is valid. You missed out on all of those rituals and traditions that many graduates before you probably took for granted. But I also believe that this current state may very well end up being your most profound catalyst for accomplishing great things. A springboard to your future success and how your journey will leave permanent footprints and impact future generations. You have the power to make sure that your children and grandchildren never experience anything like this. In the class of 2020, we have future doctors, nurses, scientists, and mathematicians who may very well develop the solution to eliminating future pandemics, or at the very least, make our world more fundamentally prepared for the unexpected. We have future business leaders and lawmakers who will demand more efficiency and oversight. You have future bankers and stockbrokers who will work amid a new economic and financial order. We have future educators who will teach in a whole new way while also reminding generations of students of their potential. They will deliver that lesson from the wisdom of knowing tough times and the experience that comes from adapting and rising to a challenge. I encourage you to channel any negative thoughts and use them as a source for motivation to set personal goals. Stay on course and use the Redefine 2020 vision to be laser focused on discovering what will make you feel fulfilled, accomplished, and appreciated. If you believe in yourself, if you remain true to yourself, continue to educate yourself, you'll have everything you need to find the right path for you. Many of you are now the first in your family to graduate high school. That's fantastic. Your parents are beaming with pride. Every parent and guardian wants their child to have a better life than they had. You are proving today that is possible. Despite what the news and the headlines and what the social media might tell you, the future is bright. I know that it is bright because I know you. This class, the class of 2020, has already had a profound impact on your community. Your principals, teachers, and I were humbled by your altruism as you supported the people of the Bahamas who were devastated by Hurricane Dorian. You sent supplies, equipment, and money. You've cooked up and provided meals for the elderly over the holidays. You've created programs such as We Dine Together to ensure that no student sits alone in the cafeteria or courtyard during lunch. You sent a contingent of students to Tallahassee to lobby elected officials for additional support regarding mental health for students and staff, not of concern for yourself, but out of concern for your peers. For these reasons and countless others, I know the future is bright. You are the sum of all of the great things that you have done, that you are doing, and that you will do. 
Walk with your head up and your shoulders back. Be proud of who you are and where you come from. Since becoming superintendent, I've looked forward to shaking the hand of every graduate who crosses the stage. That's about 14,000 hands each year. I regret that I won't be able to take part in that annual tradition. But please know that I look forward to the day when our paths cross and I congratulate you in person. No matter where your journey takes you after high school, and may that journey be extraordinary, my hope is that you will return to our community with your hard-won wisdom and play an instrumental role in our future growth. You will be welcomed with open arms. In Palm Beach County, we always leave the light on so you can find your way home. I want you to stay safe, stay healthy, and most of all, stay strong. You are the class of 2020. Hello, graduates, and congratulations. Like your parents, your friends, and your teachers, I am incredibly proud of your achievements. As a high school graduate, your future holds endless possibilities. The long hours that you invested in studying, creating projects, and attending class for 13 years will pay off in great dividends. May your next journey, whether it be entering college, the military, or a career locally or afar, be everything you imagine. As the chairman of the school board, there is no more rewarding day than graduation. This is the definition of success, your success. Own it and use the pride you feel today to fuel your future ambitions. I regret that you are not experiencing the in-person commencement that you envisioned. I regret that because of social distancing, I cannot shake your hand. But the sentiment and the support that this district feels for you today is as powerful and genuine as ever. On behalf of the entire school board, I wish you the very best as you begin the next chapter of your life. Not as kids, but as young adults. May God bless you with a long, happy, healthy, and prosperous life. Class of 2020, you did it. Congratulations to each of you seniors. You're part of history. Never before have we had an experience as unique as this. And the uniqueness of this experience has given you the opportunity to be a leader. This is your chance to make your mark on the world. From this day forward, move on. Move forward and work to make sure that you never give up, you never say I can't, and you always realize how valuable this experience has been. Thank you very much. Congratulations again, all of our seniors. Many of you at the beginning of your senior year voted on senior superlatives. You've identified characteristics that you associated with your classmates. For example, one of those is the senior who most likely brightens our day. Another humorous superlative is the senior who has a dog with a tremendous appetite for homework. Well, this particular senior class of 2020, all of you, your senior superlative to me is most likely to succeed. You've had the challenges of distance learning. You've had the many disappointments of the last quarter of your senior year, yet here you are. You have succeeded already. So congratulations to an extraordinary class of 2020. Congratulations, graduates. I wish I could be there with you today to celebrate your success, to shake your hands, or to give you a hug. You are the historic graduating class of 2020. I know that you are going to go out and do great things and make this world a better place. Congratulations, graduates. My name is Erica Whitfield, and I'm one of your school board members. Graduates, I want you to know, even though we're not able to celebrate you in the traditional way, we are all still so proud of you and all your accomplishments. For those of us who had a small part in your special day, your graduation means so much to us. My wish for you is that you will go forward and have a positive impact on your world. As you can tell from our last few months, each and every one of you is an essential part of our future, and your talents are needed now more than ever. Huge congratulations, class of 2020. It's my pleasure to congratulate the class of 2020. I'm Marcia Andrews, school board member, District 6. Today, you will reach a milestone as you graduate. We have been in challenging times, but you have met the challenge, class of 2020. You have reached milestones. You will graduate today. We are so very proud of you and all of your accomplishments. I want you to stay positive, stay focused, and reach for your dreams. 
class of 2020, go forward and reach for the world. To the class of 2020, we are so proud of you. I am so sorry we can't be there with you to shake your hands and congratulate you face to face. But just know that we expect great things from you. We know that you're ready. And I personally hope that you will make every effort to make the world a better place, not only for you and yours, but for everybody. Live long and prosper. It is now my honor to present to you the graduates for this year's summer commencement. From Atlantic Community High School, Angelo Alcero, Wesley Dutz, Jason Flannery, Nehemi Huggins, Javant Johnson, Samantha Jolima, Brian Jones, Dave LaFrance, 
Edgar Mendoza, Annie Michelle Luz Paz, Luzmila Pelicar, Castilla Pierre Luis, Earl Spivey, Yevlandi Sanitas, from Boca Raton Community High School, Abdullah Al Motasin, Khalid Kerbin, John Velasquez, Diego Berra, Samuel Burbick, Alexander Yusmen, from Forest Hill Community High School, Adrian Orlando Benavidas, Juan Carlos Bolanos, Josue Nicolas Brito Saliz, Jonel Caballero, Michael Adrian Carmona, Priscilla Diaz, Guillermo Pedro Gomez, Tyler Allen Marsh, Keshun A. McGowan, Alan Nava Mendoza, Liliana Emilia Sanchez Ortiz, Ivan S. Santos, Dimitri Vernal Stewart, Sean D. Tanner, Amya Rodney Wright, from Glade Central Community High School. Ayana Bent. Christina Estenfor. Neil Boris Lewis. Karina Roman. Taiwan Nathaniel Stokes. Shedrick Antonio Walker Jr. Antoinetta Lynette Washington from Palm Beach Gardens Community High School. Alton Glasper, Tyrone Harvey, Dimitri Michaels, Tony Parchment Jr., Vicaria Pride. From Palm Beach Lakes Community High School, Andrew Henderson, Yancy Santos Alfaro, David Williams, from John I. Leonard High School, Javon Allen, Isaac Argueta, Paul Aristilde, Josue Austin, Luis Batista, Randall Bray, Jamie Buzel, Andy Cardona, Arachne Castro, Kendra Claude, Paul Flores, Rigoberto Gonzalez, Rita Goodno, Davari Grant, Torcelli Henry, Alyssa Marrero, Tatiana Melendez, Ian Miller, Susana Pez Lopez, Khalid Reyes, Luis Ruiz, Dylan Salinas, Memphis Sams, Jessica Solis Lopez, Christian Soriano Reyes, Julian Staley, Mackenzie Stone, Jehoshaphat Tapia, Jareel Torres, MD Reza Udin, JD Villatoro, Dontavius Walker, Seth Wolf, from Lake Worth Community High School. Kyla Nicole Blair. Walter M. Bullen Cack. Heidi Alejandra Castro Menendez. Victor Manuel Chavez. Joao Victor De Silva. Nancy Janit Gomez Azanon. Tahir Michael Hill. Isaiah Ingraham. Neka Jean Francois, Junior Joseph, Nelkel M. Joseph, Steve Joseph, Jonathan Lagana, Brandon Michael Lincoln, Rebecca S. Lindsay, Jamie Lamont Neal, Benjamin Perez, Delmar Perez, Elizabeth Johanna Perez Gonzalez, Kevon Petty, Wilton Platel, 
Ruben Rodriguez, Lind Gina Stellas, Lupita Valdez Landero, Lily Joanna Villatoro, from Palm Beach Central High School, Adriel Ebanks, Isabella Fialos, Ana Jamal, Omar Medina Jr., from Park Vista Community High School, Jace Alexander, Kylie Aviles, Layla Bolet Wilbur, Adrian Cardenas Elizaldi, Amanda Castaneda, Atlantis Castro, William Charsha, Caitlin Fox, Cletith Oakley, Nicole Pell, William Sanchez, Tim Seeger, from River Beach Preparatory and Achievement Academy, Alaria Dodd, Randy Edwards, Matthias Jeffrard, Justina Gray, Sean Hightower, Eric Lawrence, Timothy Lockhart, Emmanuel McRae, Jonathan Overstreet, Daniel Richards, Dominique Reed, Thomas Roberson, Tahira Robinson, Kadesha Shepard, Joshua Sherrod, Kenia Stubbs, General Thompson Jr., Demarcus Turner Jr., Violeta Valdez, Norian White, Demiri Williams, Naya Williams, from Royal Palm Beach Community High School, Andre Abreu, Candice Bergen, Esther Jocks, Anthony Jones, Amber Roebuck, Kyle Spence, Emily Suburbi, Casey Swanson, from Santa Lucia Community High School, Maria Savantes, Iovani Lopez, Noah Mahan, Alexander Prudholm, Jaheem Robinson, Berlins St. Louis, Lillian Samayoa, Aiden Tyransky, from Seminole Ridge Community High School, Ruth Anna Kalchik, William Rogers, from West Boca Community High School, Maria Muccino, Leonardo Santos, from William T. Dwyer High School, Jayance Adams, Stephanie Bajork, Nathan Bird, Shikari Chin, Antonique Forbes, Alexandra Galloway, Fernando Garcia Lopez, Jasmine Harris, Gabriela Hutchinson, Emmanuel Jones, Frayden Lopez, Avon Miller, Annabel Navarro, Jadiana Ramsaran, Erica Samaniego, Blake Starrett, Layden Taylor, Amy Thomas, Talia Thomas, Isaiah Tribble, Jay Vargas, Yasmin Velasquez, Besnick Bogley. Graduates, please stand. The School District of Palm Beach County Administration certifies that the students before you have met the requirements set forth by the State of Florida and the School District of Palm Beach County. Graduates, please turn your tassels from right to left. Congratulations, Class of 2020. Everybody, hey, it's time to wake up. 
Nothing's gonna stop us now. We need the love.